What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Olds TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about if you should buy the unlocked version of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 or the locked carrier version of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And I'm gonna go through pros and cons for both. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now I will tell you a quick answer on what I think is the better one to buy and then I'll list reasons why after this. But I always buy the unlocked version of the phone. I think it's better overall, easier to deal with and all that. So if you don't even wanna watch the video and don't even care about any of the reasons I have to say and you just wanna know a, quick, a clear, quick answer, buy the unlocked version of the Galaxy Z Fold 4. All right, let's first go with the positives for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 unlocked version of the phone. First of all, you can use the phone on literally any carrier that you are located in. So, so for instance, if you're in America and you buy an unlocked Galaxy Z Fold 4, you can use it on any of the carriers here in America. Whereas if you bought the carrier version of the Galaxy Z Fold 4, it's gonna be locked to that specific carrier unless you the carrier lets you unlock it after you pay it off. And at that point, it probably will work with all the carriers. But right off the bat, the unlocked version of the Galaxy Z Fold 4 will work with any of the carriers. So that's a great thing where you can really change to any carrier you want at any time just by popping out the SIM card and putting a new SIM card in. Next would be no carrier branding slash bloatware. What do I mean by that? Well, when you get a carrier version of a Galaxy phone, you'll find like for instance, maybe AT&T puts all the AT&T apps automatically on your phone and maybe you can uninstall some, maybe you can disable some, maybe you can't do anything with some, but you are you have these apps that you probably don't want. Sometimes they're not even just carrier apps. Some, you know, sometimes you have like Facebook pre-installed or you have Netflix pre-installed or some game that you didn't even want. And that goes with all the carriers. I have be T-Mobile, uh, Verizon, AT&T, any of them, and I don't know about you know European countries and African countries and Asian countries. I'm not sure if the, you guys do that as well, but in America, you have to deal with that. But if you get the unlocked version of the phone, you only have Samsung apps and Google apps, and you get this nice, clean experience. And also with carrier branding, sometimes just starting up your phone, you see like the AT&T logo first, and then it shows the Samsung branding. You don't have to worry about that with this phone with an unlocked version of the Galaxy Z Fold 4, you're gonna get nothing but Samsung on there, no carrier stuff at all. It's great. And it makes for a nice clean looking experience. And to continue on with that carrier stuff, I mentioned bloatware and carrier apps. So, you know, just you, some of that stuff, like I said, you can uninstall, some of it you can't. But ultimately for me, it's just, I don't want it. Why are you putting it on it? Let me have the clean experience. I think a cleaner experience is better for your, your, your mind and uh, it just looks better too on the phone. Next up, a positive for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 unlocked version are upgrades are usually easier. You know, you can usually easily upgrade your phone year in and year out. You can do your financing through directly with Samsung and you can upgrade the phone literally every single year with them or you can buy the phone and say you paid it off completely just trade it right into Samsung and get the new phone the next year and they'll give you some credit back. Now I'm not saying you can't do that with a carrier but most people that finance through the carrier now especially are locked into these deals where they're locked in for like 24 or 36 months and unless you pay it all off or you get to a certain point, you can't even upgrade without having to completely pay off that difference or buy the phone. So, you know, if you're a person that loves to just pay off their phone, I would say get the unlocked version of the phone due to the fact that you'll be able to upgrade really easily. And you could, like I said, with the carrier version as well. It's just, you know, if it's really, this is really more for the people that finance their phones. It's gonna be, for me, at least what I see now in the carriers, it's probably a little bit easier to upgrade with going directly through Samsung for those unlocked versions. This isn't always a definitive, sometimes it flip flops, but sometimes you get updates quicker on the unlocked versions, sometimes they're quicker on the carrier versions, but still, you know, you're gonna get updates for years and years to come. Um, also to add on to that, sometimes features are disabled on the carrier phones and they're not at all on the unlocked versions of the phone. So, you know, if there's like maybe, I, can't, I think it was back in the day, I don't know if they still do this, but Verizon, I think, used to stop Samsung Cloud from working, but in the unlocked version, if you're on Samsung, uh, on Verizon's uh, network, but you had the unlocked version of the phone, all that stuff still worked. So sometimes you'll see that some features don't work or are blocked by the carrier, but on the unlocked version, they're not. Now, 
I do want to also throw in this little caveat that you know I have an AT&T phone, uh, unlocked version on the AT&T network, and I can't turn off 5G, but if you're on T-Mobile, you can. So even though I have the unlocked version, sometimes the carrier still blocks certain things to be blocked out, but ultimately you're gonna get more access with the unlocked version more times than not. Now, why would you want a carrier edition of the phone? Well, if you've already always had a carrier edition of the phone, you don't have to do a new credit check, which can be good if you have bad credit or you just don't want anybody to check your credit for whatever reason, um, you can get you know, you can stick with your carrier and get the new phone every single year and they're not doing brand new credit checks all the time affecting your credit score. So that would be good for somebody, again, that's locked into that carrier life and doesn't want to jump in and have to finance it through Samsung if you have bad credit or, you know, again, you just don't want people to do a ding on your credit. And then also with carrier phones, a positive potentially is that sometimes the opposite, sometimes they've done this in the past, I don't see it too much anymore, but sometimes features will only work on the carrier versions and not the unlock. So come, sometimes it's a little give and take. I don't think it's as much like that anymore. Um, sometimes like uh, I remember back in the day, AT&T was really tough on unlocked phones working over voice over LTE. Now that works for me. I don't have any issues with that, but sometimes it didn't on unlocked phones in the day. But so it, maybe that's more of a, a mute point at this point, but it still is something to eat. just be aware of, uh, but ultimately when it comes down to it, the unlocked version of the phone is always a win for me. I would never go back to a carrier version. The bloatware, the branding, um, the easier upgrades, the better trade-in offers with, with prizes and stuff that Samsung gives uh, that the carrier editions haven't been really given the last couple of years, or last gen last year, um, I think is another reason to jump to those unlocked versions. Uh, like last year, they didn't even get, the carrier versions didn't even get free gifts, but the unlocked people did. So check it out, samsung.com. It would be the best place to get your phones, I think, personally. Um, but maybe you like getting them from Best Buy or someplace else. Have a great day. Let me know your opinions on this in the comments down below. We'll see you down the road. Peace.